the idea of the Royal Albert Carriage Company came out of COVID. A whole lot of ideas sort of uh, popped about in my brain during that period, obviously some downtime when I wasn't working. Often I would dress up with my mask on, I'd head down to the shops in different fancy uniforms and stuff like that and it always got attention. So I sort of thought, what can I do as a late Victorian uh, gentleman, I sort of consider myself as, um, that I could give something back a bit more to Wyndham and the community at large really. The carriage behind me is a Brougham style carriage and it's enclosed. It's a landaulet style as well which uh, the, the back would normally pop down to allow the passengers to get a bit of fresh air but this has got windows because the back doesn't open down. I thought oh what a great opportunity to use Werribee Park and the surrounds and have a carriage that is basically horseless, it's electric um, it appeals to all the markets, so I think that's, that's what's really exciting about the, the carriage. And, and they did have electric motors back in the Victorian era. They came out in sort of the, the 1870s, 1880s and really took off. A lot of the interior was all made overseas. It's just a simple sort of Baroque style red interior. It's got the little dimentis on the door. We're looking at doing weddings, uh, tours of the park. We've already got a lot of interest to be able to expand it and get extra carriages. To be able to offer people that experience of what it would have looked like to the Churnsides or to guests who are arriving at Werribee Park, and to be able to offer that to them, I think, is really exciting. It is limited to 10 kilometres an hour, so just fast enough to be able to uh, a leisurely pace around Werribee Park. So obviously the trips will be roughly about 30 minutes up and back, and having a little guided tour, I think, will certainly help. We're doing a lot of trial runs. Uh, we're working with Parks Victoria at the moment to be able to get a few things organised, dates and whatnot, and just finalise stuff. Uh, hopefully in the next probably two or three weeks, we, we endeavour to have most of the pinstriping or the, um, the lining done and be able to sort of hit the, hit the gardens running, really.